Hi, this is Charlie Cox, narrator of Order of Darkness, Book One, Changeling, by Philippa Gregory. I'd never uh, narrated an audiobook before, so I really had no idea how to prepare for it. But I spoke to a friend of mine who had, and really I spent the time reading the book and getting familiar with the story and the characters as much as I could. And then the rest of my time was spent preparing the um, the voices. There are, you know, in this particular book, there are, I think, seven or eight main characters and then numerous other characters that pop in and out. And um, the challenge has been for me to make those characters individual and different enough, especially when they're talking to one another, so that you can um, identify them easily as you as the story progresses. Well, the thing that I think I've enjoyed the most about doing the audiobook is is it feels very free, if that makes any sense. It feels much freer than acting on stage or on film when your image is presented with your voice. I've had so much fun with some of the characters in the book. I suppose what's different is that in real life, as an actor, I would never play a 40-year-old priest or a, a girl, a woman, a young woman. Um, and so getting to do those voices, you have to kind of, you know, be brave. And that's been the most enjoyable aspect of doing the audiobook for me. I don't know if I have a favorite character. I kind of like them all. Um, I guess that's what would happen if you've kind of invested into all of them. You know, I've had a lot of fun doing the voices of, of Brother Peter and Freeze in particular. Interestingly enough, Isolde has been a character that I think I played her initially as kind of just serving a purpose. She's, you know, a young, beautiful woman. But as the story's gone on, I found her to become more and more interesting. She's, she's incredibly brave and, and incredibly open-minded. I think she's a real example for someone who's reading the book of how we should perhaps try and aim to be ourselves. Someone who's in the face of major adversity and terrifying situations. She manages to almost remain calm and open-minded, above all, above anything else, open-minded. She's probably the most open-minded character in the book. I'm often moved by how she deals with certain situations. <laughs>